So AI is quickly automating any process and your only limitation now is how you decide to use these tools. That's to say your only real limitation is your creativity. But can you automate that? Well, I think so and I just created a free tool to prove it. It's a custom GPT that conducts brainstorming sessions with virtual teams of experts. First it helps you define the problem you're facing and then it assembles a virtual team of experts to help with that problem. It conducts a brainstorming session getting ideas from these experts and having them comment on each other's ideas and then finally it categorizes and evaluates each of the ideas generated. I'm excited to walk you through how all this works step by step and there is a link to this free tool in the description of this video. This will be especially helpful for marketers and entrepreneurs along with freelancers and pretty much anybody whose job it is to come up with fresh ideas on a daily basis. Think about it, you no longer have to be alone stuck staring at that blank screen or struggling with brain fog at the end of the day. This process will help you iterate better and iterate much faster. This will make you much more creative, efficient, and competitive in the workplace. I created this to help with work stuff, but I've also found it to be really helpful with hobbies, fitness, and all kinds of things. I'm looking forward to walking you through all of this, but if you're new to the Blazing Zebra channel, I'd first like to welcome you and thank you for joining me on my mission of helping marketers and entrepreneurs around the world adopt these new AI technologies to improve their business success. My goal is to provide you with practical AI skills that'll drive your efficiency and overall profitability. And if you're enjoying these videos, please consider supporting Supporting me on Patreon, there's a link in the description to cheat sheets for my videos and tons of other resources. So here are the six steps that this bot will walk you through while you're doing your virtual brainstorm session. The first one is just defining your issue or problem, making sure that you have that straight in your mind and also that that's been conveyed accurately to this custom GPT. And then the next step is for it to assemble the virtual team. It will think about your problem and pull together a handful of folks that might be helpful brainstorming on whatever problem or issue you are looking to solve. Third, it's going to generate some initial ideas from all these different experts. Fourth is my favorite step where it gets these different experts to piggyback on each other's ideas and comment on the ones that you like the most. And fifth, it's going to start categorizing all of these. And sixth, it'll evaluate these for the best ones. So here we are in the custom GPT. There's a link to this in the description. And we're just going to kick this off by clicking Let's Begin. It just asks you a question here about what problem you're looking to brainstorm on. And today I want to look for help improving my empathy and storytelling skills. These are two skills that help with marketing as well as just overall communication. So it parrots this back to me and asks, do I have this correct? And I would say it does. All I need to write is this looks good and it's going to move on to step two, assembling the team. Really cool. Brene Brown, Malcolm Gladwell, Shonda Rhimes, Daniel Goleman. Pixar Animation <laughs> Studios, and Yuval Noah Harari. Awesome. These are some folks that I'm familiar with and a few that I'm not fully familiar with. So I think this works for a diverse team. So I'm just going to write, this works. Now you can see each team member is generating a few ideas. And I'm just going to go through these and cherry pick a few of them that I think are resonating with me and pull these into a Google Doc. I like this empathetic journal exercise. I'm going to drop that into my doc. I like this character development exercise. I like this historical storytelling exercise as well. So now that I have the three that I'm most excited about, I'm just going to copy and paste all of these back in and say, these three are the ones I'd like to explore. Now it's going to begin step four, the piggybacking where the different experts are weighing in on these different ideas. Those are good from Yuval Noah Harari. Let's move on to another member. She's got some great ideas here. And you can just keep going like this through all the different team members before moving on to the next step. But for brevity's sake, let me just show you what the next step looks like. So it says we can either continue brainstorming or move forward with categorization. I'm just going to say let's start categorizing. And often you might have many other experts weighing in with many more ideas. So there may be a lot more to categorize and evaluate. Final step here is the evaluation. I'm just going to say yes, let's move forward with the evaluation step. Awesome, and you can keep tweaking these as you see fit, but for now I'm just going to grab these and copy them into my Google Doc. You can format this real quick, and I can save that or share it with my team. Now let's move on to a more complex B2B brainstorm session. First we start with let's begin. I'm just going to put in here I'd like to brainstorm on content marketing ideas for a cybersecurity consulting company that I'm working with. Let's see what it comes up with. 
So this time it asked for a little bit more information, which I think is very important. All right, so I just answered these questions pretty quickly here, seeing the target audience is CTOs of regional banks, and this will be blog and podcasts and video content. And uh, just put a couple other notes in there. Let's see what it comes up with for our team of experts. Very cool. So it's pulling together a cybersecurity expert, a uh, communications expert, digital marketing expert, another cybersecurity author, someone who is very involved with uh, Bank of America, providing that background, and also a researcher and storyteller, Brene Brown. And then it asks if this team feels like a fit. I think it does. And now these folks will begin generating content ideas. Very cool. I like this first one that it came up with, the hacker's perspective. This time I'm just gonna copy it down here. Not gonna press enter. And I like this. I'm just gonna say these two resonate the most with me. Hit enter. Now we're gonna move into the piggybacking phase where each expert will weigh in on the ideas that I liked the most. Interesting, adding some interactive web elements, micro content strategy. Let's see what another expert on the team thinks. Behind the scenes of a cyber attack. Very good idea. Social media cybersecurity news flash. Gonna move forward with another team member's ideas. Some interviews, some collaborations, some virtual workshops. Nice. Now we're moving on to the categorization step. These are really cool. Now we're going to the final step of evaluation. Beautiful, now it's come up with the most promising ideas followed by the evaluation and the categorization was in the last step. So I'm just going to copy and paste this into a new Google Doc. Here's my new Google Doc. All right, and after a little bit of formatting, this is ready to circulate maybe with your internal team or give it one last look before you're sending it off to the client. All right, I hope you got something out of this. Remember, I've got a link to this tool in the description. I've also got a link to a Patreon cheat sheet that shows you how I come up with processes like this. I've also got a link to a video on that same subject. And again, thanks for joining me on my mission to help marketers and entrepreneurs around the world learn how to use these powerful new AI tools. My goal again is to provide you with practical AI skills that will drive your profitability and business success. Please consider supporting me on Patreon so I can keep making videos like this. And as always, please feel free to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I love to hear what you're working on or give me an idea for a future video. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one. Make your dreams come true.